I guess I just mechanized a lot of my best Rocketeers and I spread my experience very widely throughout my Rocketeers. I have plenty of them. And I spread the experience there. I there was no engine there was no Rocketeer, no single Rocketeer that I trained a lot vertically, so only one reached I guess no, snapshot uh, javelin on Sabnok as well, but Sabnok is wounded, so I can only rely on Gizmo these days. Space too. Maybe Aegis on someone who's not going to be in the back so much as Nessoroth. And Nessoroth is going to be kind of in the back. Escape. Escape. Right space. First armor. First three. Hmm. Well, it's a gigantic fatigue spiral, Corridius, so... Everyone's just tired. I think you're the wounded wounded guy. You might be wounded for like 20 days still. That could be the thing. Yeah, we had a lot of uh, mid-level archer mechs, and they're not that good. Mech, mech, archer mechs are only good high level, so... It was my mistake to, to, to cut them up so early. Is that a robot unicorn attack, Matt? That is the best unicorn game I know. Pick up five. Down. Pick up six. I need an aim boost from this holo targeter and the attack silencer so I'm not targeted as, as often as the other mech. Right space. First armor. First three. Bahamas. God damn you. Down. Pick up two. Down. Pick up four. Escape. Escape. Right space. First. Down. First armor. Zhang wouldn't mind the Aegis, actually. Or M Chief. M Chief. M Chief's gonna get in more trouble, I think. More trouble per second ratio for M Chief. Zhang has incredible HP, but that just means he gets wounded quite a lot as well. Lower track. Because I rely on his HP more than actual armor but he can get gunling scope here for some really good shit right space first armor lower track north three space down pick up three down i'm not even using that ghost auto pistol these days the aim is too important long range for those infantries, of those assaults who really don't have that much aim to begin with. Pick up three. Down. Lower track. North five. Down four. Space. Escape. Escape. Right space. First armor. This is the Canada terror mission that I skipped when I was moving into the base attack. Pick up two. Down. Pick up two. Escape. Escape. Right space. First armor. Lower track. Down space. Down. Pick up three. Down. Pick up two. Down. Lower track. Down space. Alright, precision shot can just shoot once, reload, shoot once, reload, and I'm gonna be okay with that. As long as that precision shot is actually powerful enough, I guess I'm gonna be okay with that. First armor. It's not as good of a team as I had on the last um, terror mission, but <sighs> hopefully it's gonna line up just as good and I can still save Canada. We'll see. We'll see. Hope we'll see some good stuff. Not the bad stuff. Okay, so I'm using all of my scopes, Gunlink and the uh, Illuminator. That's a lot of aim bonus, isn't it? I like it, I like it. It's a strong team, it really is. Let's see what I can do with them. I guess this time I have a, be I have a better sniper rifle than last time. <laughs> That's one thing. Alright, escape. Let's see it. Another Canadian Terror. I swear to you, these aliens 
always target the lowest like panic resistance countries, and that's what I expected actually. The metro station. And, and that's why I wanted areas. two snipers, but I without ghost grenade I was just too scared. Maybe I should have sacrificed M Chief for, for a sniper here. Probably. Probably should have. Wait, what are you talking about, Matt? A robot unicorn attack is not just a game. It's actually a really good game. Speed up the game. Oh, this spawning position, though. Oh, I'm not sure I like it that much. I usually start there, where it's better for snipers. Hmm. What do I do with this, though? I guess what I do with this is I take Womaws. Inside, so he has less issues. And I take Gizmo. And I stabilize him, and I don't move until these two can actually support me. Click. Click switch. Click switch. Position confirmed. Zang would like to go there, but it's... Nah, it's not that scary. Yankee. Yankee. Wait. That's Yankee. Yankee. Look. That is moderately scary. Okay, it's good enough. That was stupid. I shouldn't have done it. It's so so late in the turn. Okay, I need to play better. I need to play better. I'm, this is the this is after ten hours of live streaming for me. I need to take as an ethereal. There's an ethereal in Canada eating the goddamn maple syrup. Fucking addict. Number six. Space. Uh, okay. Oh shit, there are terrain blockers there, like that. I'm dead. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm fucking out of here, guys. I have an ethereal triggered who is out of my line of sight. I have nothing. There's nothing I can do. I'm sorry, Canada. I gained Germany, I lost Canada. There is... Only two ways I can do this. I can die or I can leave. I can, I can leave or I can get rifted in the face, I think. So guys, those of you who played the late game before, what is the behavior of a standard ethereal on a terror mission? Does he just silence civilians, or does he actually just rift me out of my line of sight? What does a standard ethereal do? Yeah, I can rock it, but... Can't rock it everyone. Can rocket three guys. At least it no, it doesn't. Nah, I can't. I can't even rocket three guys. I can rocket two guys. They do both. They oh fuck. Oh fuck. Man, I, I got nothing. I mean, he's just gonna rift me, and then I'm just gonna die from 16 damage, and that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, he was part of the heavy floater pod on the left. So every turn I stay here is the turn I just hope that he doesn't rift me. That's what it is, just hope that those don't have heat ammo. This one has heat ammo.
One of them hits the ammo. So many. As long as the civilians are alive, I am protected to some degree. But I need to keep moving forward if I want to catch that ethereal before he starts rifting me from out of sight. I think I need to shred these two in the air over here. Why can't I do it though? That's so weird. It's as if they were on an elevation level that's just unavailable to me unless with a very precise face rocket. But this guy is the one that needs to die because he's got heat ammo. So if I stay, I heat this guy, I mean I shred this guy, and then Yaku probably moves up, tries to mind fray him for what's the chance? Pretty decent, pretty decent, but if I can mind fray him, he's gonna be much less useful. And then Titan, if he stays here, he has two shots against the exposed guy, so that's probably the most efficient use of Titan. M Chief cannot get up the train. M Chief may want to move a little forward on these guys. Maybe get a flank on this guy. And then there's one. And then I don't think he's gonna have enough in him to just flank me here. They could grenade and then follow up on that grenade, but but at that point, who's gonna be killing the civilians, right? Well, they rifted my single guy in the, in a large landing, but I guess there were no civilians there, so... So here I have a flank with M Chief. So then who's shooting the one on the top? Well, not Womos, because he's inside a train, so that's not gonna happen. So against this guy, I only have a uh, rocket and then Convera, and that's a 50%, and that's it. Fuck. It's not good. And then I have the Mind Fray. So I guess I should try that first. Okay, I am committing. I am committing for now. I am committing. Let's see if I can Mind Fray. This guy actually has more will because he's the leader of some sort. But if I can mind fray him, he's gonna have a hard time hitting my mech, so maybe I can ignore him for now. At which point, this is probably the most efficient use of Titan because of his double shoot here with light him up. And then if I rocket this guy instead. But you know what? Maybe I just need to reposition Gizmo. Because if I reposition Gizmo, and he survives the turn, you know... There now. He will have a rocket against that ethereal, followed up by probably Womoz's shot, and then... Something could happen out of that, you know, against that ethereal. I'm a little scared to flank here, but... What can I say? Go aggressive or go home. Wait, why did I run and gone? Why did I press run and gone? I guess because I was streaming for 10 hours. On my way. That's why. Good enough. Shred as well. Zang could take a one shot and then uh, overwatch with Sentinel. Theoretically. Womos could then shoot someone else. Neseroth wants to actually holo-target this guy and someone else. I should have done that before I actually flanked with my infantry, that was a mistake. And then... Let's go for the guy in the air because he's closer to flanking my assault. And then I can kill him with Zang. Grab a sentinel. 87 precision shot over here for no crit, unfortunately. But maybe the sentinel will finish him off after I kill him with Convera. And then let's see what happens. Could die from a sentinel if he tries to flank me, we'll see. This mind freight guy just overwatches, no problem. He's still gonna be mind freight, so he's gonna be still fucked. What does, what does the ethereal do? That's the question. Because these two are pops, easily enough. He 
moves in. Silence is my mech for 14 damage. That mech, he can just die next turn, period. I need to go against that ethereal. This is gonna be an ethereal rocket, an ethereal attack. And this one dies to Sentinel just like, just like I wanted. Okay, if I can't kill that ethereal, if my rocket maybe fucks up or something happens, like, I, I can't snipe him, but it's a 77. It's gonna be better with holo targeting, hopefully. I have... I have a fire rocket that's not not dead on, which leads me to believe that a shredder rocket is more beneficial in this case. Because then the damage of the shredder rocket is oh god, if I didn't misclick that run and gun last turn, I'm going to have I would have my assault against him right now very well, very well set up, but so that's a shred guaranteed. Like 3 damage maybe. And then I'm gonna need like three shots against them. Convera needs to be healed, so it's not gonna happen very well. Zang could move in over here. Can I see the Ethereal from here? Yes. So what I could do is I could move M Chief over here for a relatively decent ish shot. That probably will not be flanked. This overwatching guy is gonna be a problem. Titan may fix that problem through running, but he's not a tanky mech. Neseroth can't do shit other than just suppress this guy. But it's useful, right? Maybe it's going to danger zone, holo target the ethereal, we'll see. But I'm not gonna move Neseroth. This is still important. Yeah, nice. Okay, so that's holo targeting on the ethereal already. Now, here's the question. Can I move this mech somewhere where he will see the ethereal and at the same time be healed by Beodron? By Yaku. That'd be nice. That'd be swell. Great. So I can move Yaku over here. No, this guy's not mine, Fred. Actually, no, he is. He just regenerated. You're right. You're right. You're right. You'll probably miss. So I could move over here. No, over here. Will that see the ethereal? Can Gizmo see the ethereal? The Gizmo... Cannot even see the ethereal. Nope. Not gonna see the ethereal. If I get healed with Convera, I do not see the ethereal. If I take my risk and go in, I could die despite the absorption fields because of some heat ammo. If I got unlucky. Might heal him over here, but I still don't think it's gonna see the ethereal. So that let's just say it's not a shot against the ethereal. What then is a shot against the ethereal? This is with Zang. So I've got Zang, I've got Womos, and I've got the Shredder Rocket. And I've got Titan, and I've got M3. I think it's good enough to, to just try it. So let's shred these two assholes. With 100% right here. Problem is, those heavy floaters will now take care of me. Because there is no more civilians to take care of in the, in the vicinity. So, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. What's gonna be my chance here with M-Chief? Gonna be a 56, no better. Time to go here, actually. But, you know what, to be honest... I will see him from here, and it's much less flankable, and it's much less, you know, grenadable and follow upable by those heavy floats. Who do I break the Overwatch with? Probably my Tactical Sense mech. Tanky and yet high defense. Like the combo. I'm really scared that this piece of high cover will actually block my vision of the Ethereal. I'm really scared. He's mind freight as well. What the fuck? <laughs> He's mind freight! And I had like...
And there's another one here, but he doesn't have heat ammo. Still, my mechs are gonna die in this mission. I cannot be. He just hit me through the mine fray. Should have ran it with M Chief. Should have ran it with M Chief. I am so in trouble here. I am so deep in shit right now. It's not even funny anymore. Mind fray? Minus like 30 aim. Uh, my 20 defense from tactical sense. That's minus 50 aim. Moving? I guess. Does he have opportunist? Maybe then he would have no penalty on my moving. But... Not even. Not even. So that was like minus 80 aim and he still hit me. Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell. Alright, this shot with MG isn't getting any better, so... Let's see, it's 7 damage, good. Good, good, good. And then I've got Zhang over here. God, I am so dead next turn. I am so dead next turn. That's death. Right there. And some damage to the float. I am so dead. Damn good ground plus 10 damage. I mean, plus 10 aim. Well, great. So this guy's in cover, but I still have a better chance against him. That's so weird. Oh no, he's fine. He's fine. Okay, he's fine. And I've got sharpshooter, I guess. So that makes sense. Actually, that makes sense. I'm starting to think that I should actually ghost grenade both Mex and Zang. Just ghost grenade here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm ghosting this place. And let's see if my low cover team members can handle it better than the mechs. But the mechs will just die. So fuck that. Excuse me, but fuck that. And then my biggest worry is that they will grenade me and just kill someone as a follow-up. Because I have no smoke here then. Fuck this. This guy's still mind fried, isn't he? He is! But still, he... He's just gonna hit me again, isn't he? Is this guy suppressed? He actually isn't. Should have focused him. I thought the AoE suppression actually, I guess he's shredded, so that's that's good enough. And then this guy's suppressed, he's not that big of a worry for me. And this one I have a higher chance against, he must die, because my max will just die next turn if he doesn't, so let's try that, and then... And this is the last thing I... Okay, I killed the Ethereal, let's see if I can survive the aftermatch. Oh my god! Why is this so hard, damn it? Hostile targets are retreating. Mind frayed, overwatches. There's one civilian there, that helps. There's no grenade then that will kill me. There's a grenade that can mess with me, but can kill me. Okay. Okay, still alive, still alive. Now is that a paramedic? There's another ethereal! There's a second one! How do I even save one civilian on this map? How? How do I do that? I don't. I, I don't know how. Is there a civilian here? Well, shits and giggles, but he isn't. There's no way. I'm losing. I'm just, I'm just gonna lose. There's no civilians. And there is a paramedic. But I cannot move my mechs until this guy dies. 
That's just a reload. That's one shot with Zhang and then I'm reloading, so... Not that hard. I think I need to just unload on this guy. With my max. Especially Titan with a double shot. No covering fire, just to make sure. Nope. Kill the boss, kill the boss. I am in such trouble here. I can't win this. I cannot... How? How would I how would I even do it? Suppose I could fire rocket this guy to but then I'm gonna destroy my future cover. It's just shit. That double miss really hurt me with the uh, with the mech. Because what the hell do I do now? Because if I shoot him. I cannot deploy cover to heal twice with my medic, so I can heal only once. Let's see how much Zhang deals. Not good enough, it's not a crit. Kill them and then run? Well, in that case, Sabnok, why not just run now? Instead, before they, they kill me. Now, this could work. If not, I might just rocket him then, but... But this guy, the, the heat ammo is just unacceptable. And I have no one else to shoot him. Nesroth's busy against the other two. And they're scary too. Gotta be careful with them. I gotta double tap against them. So I might maybe kill the leftmost guy somehow, but... But this mech just has to do it. He didn't do it, wow, okay. I guess plans change, huh? Zhang? Can you just... 72? Yeah, no reload for next turn with Zhang. Not very good. Not very good at all. It's a 36, but he's got less HP. And he's closer to my max, which is scary. Oh, nice. Well shot. I wonder if he could fly all the way to see my... He probably could fly all the way to see my medic. But I cleared the left side, didn't I? So I could go he here and then heal my blue mech twice. But then I'd be wasting my last... well, wasting... Uh, investing my last med kit. No, okay. Oh. I gotta heal them one by one. With paramedic and going to cover. And uh, any smart alien will shoot the one that has less defense. And th this one has the tactical sense. So let's first heal the one that doesn't have the tactical sense, right? It makes tactical sense, really. Click. But the ethereal, how do I save any civilians? How do I save any of them? What the fuck is this mission, man? Do I just go and then base attack Canada next month? Base attack next month is gonna be even worse than the one this month. So it's gonna be even harder. Man, it's... Why is this game so hard? <laughs> just double ethereal terror missions. What is this? Eight civilians dead already. I haven't saved a single one. There was not even close. I was not even close to saving a single one. There was a heavy floater still out there roaming around, killing civilians. And there's two more pods at least, if not three. Probably three. If I could just grab this guy, but... But how? How? I have no idea. And then what? Turtle? He's just gonna rift me from out of my line of sight if I turtle. Go aggressive? There's three pods there. Have fun getting aggressive. I already lost my HP on my max. I do that... 
I do that mech Rambo shit next time, I'm dead, like, dead. Lost my mechs, lost my campaign. Canada? I, I, I don't think I can help you here. I don't see how. A flawless engagement against an ethereal and still gotta save a civilian fast enough. I really don't see how. Like, I have one more ghost. Going there now. X. Romeo. I am reloading. I'll see how the engagement goes at least. Click. If I don't like the way I have engaged, I will just run the fuck back. I will actually need to blow up a uh, part of the train to be able to go back, We're so... Go. That's sketchy. Click. It's sketchy all the way. Click. If I only knew at least which side is he on. I'm on it, Commander. Maybe I can position my sniper at least, but come on. Click. Don't even know that. Maybe I'll hear now. But I'll probably heal that floater. We'll be shooting civilians every turn. More two more random deaths. I could grab this guy. And I think that's my this guy's my only chance of winning this campaign. Period. It's my only chance of winning this campaign. And if I don't grab him fast, the heavy floater will. Here's the deal though, if I grab this guy and trigger the ethereal by grabbing him, I run the fuck back and retreat. If I grab this guy without triggering the ethereal, trigger some other pods maybe, I think I then turtle for the rest of this map. And th this, is a, this is a relatively long map. There is a chance for that, there is a chance. But if I trigger the ethereal and I cannot follow up on that uncovering, because he's too far away from me, which he probably will be, then I cannot risk getting rifted from long range. Because that's a one-shot kill against anyone. Not to mention the heavy mutants that will accompany him, with probably heat ammo. If I trigger the ethereal here, I cannot imagine myself still playing this this mission. If I if I do not go for this guy right now. Okay, I will wait for this guy one more turn. I think that's overall the safer option. If I can at least take this position with Gizmo and this with Nesseroth. What? Fucking misclick. I selected Nestor, didn't I? No, I need that rocket stable. It's, it has to be 100% rocket. That's the only way I can play this. Reload that misclick. Speed up the game. Click. Stabilize too. Click. Yankee. Click. Here with Zhang. But Zhang is probably gonna have to move up and maybe shoot once against that hero. Maybe. But is there a guy here? That's a civilian diseased. This is the same height as Zhang, but I'm still a little worried. Headed there now. Let's go here so I can blue move at least to the high cover, but... This is it, this is it. Click. Titan, get to Zhang, but no further. And I'm gonna heal that wound. I am gonna heal that wound. It's my last medkit. But 
that is the one guy that won't get one-shotted now. Maybe it's better to avoid that whatsoever than be able to resurrect. Maybe. In the long war description, it says soldiers reset after every mission. What does it say exactly, Deadly Grimace? Because that doesn't really sound like it makes sense. I might have one on my sniper, let's see. No, no, my sniper has two aim things, so no. I think I'm much more likely to trigger him on the left side. But I'm also, I also think that Womos can shoot towards the left side from here. Because the way I'm leaning, this window is available to me. If this guy dies, I'm gone. I'm done. There's no civilians I can save, so there's no point of playing this mission. And I think I heard the heavy floater there, not the ethereal from that side. If the ethereal is on the right side and I can't fight him, well, obviously I'm done. If this guy kills the civilian, I'm done as well. Wow. Oh my god, waiting was the wrong call then, wasn't it? Unless I get lucky. I didn't get lucky. I did get lucky! And there's the ethereal on the right side. I can't even go there, you know? Other than with my Pathfinder with the... with the jet boots. My sniper will not have the angle. And then, if my Pathfinder goes there, then I guess Titan has to go here. Am I doing it? Am I actually doing it? I can't engage that ethereal. Zhang can do nothing at all. My assault can do nothing at all because there's just no way to enter that train anymore. Wait, does that mean I cannot retreat? Yeah, that means I cannot retreat, I think. Because this is, this is open. This is blown open. Or is it? Yeah, that is blown open and I still can't go in. Does that mean I cannot retreat at all? Does that mean there is no retreat, no surrender? Or do I need to blow doors? I may need to blow doors, not windows, but doors. And then I can retreat from here. If, if I blow up these doors, I can then retreat. Ethereal cannot overwatch, they don't have guns. But his accompanying heavy floaters might. And they might have heat ammo against my mech, so that is certainly not fun. There is a chance Nesseroth may see the ethereal. It depends on the line of sight. It really does. I can blow up some line of sight with Gizmo's rocket. I don't know if any of them are overwatching. I didn't pay attention enough. I just paid attention to where the ethereal is going, but missed where they are overwatching and... Basically, I have no scout. This is my scout. So here's how I'm going to do this. Convera's gonna move forward against that ethereal. And then one of two things will happen. One thing that can happen, that ethereal is exposed enough for me to shoot him with Convera, snipe him, rocket him, shoot him with Nesseroth, and then... and Overwatchers miss me. And there's no heat ammo floaters, because the leader is the ethereals and the others don't have heat ammo. If that happens... Titan grabs the civilian, and I can still do it. Arakinator! I thank you. I thank you for this support. <laughs> you made the cats dance, my friend. That's quite a gesture. So then I go here. If it's fucky, if, if it's unplayable, I still get to go here to break line of sight on most of them. But I don't get to go there, do I? Actually, wait, what's my movement range? Here. 
if I move six tiles forward from my position, I believe I'll still be able to retreat to a better spot. So if I go only here, only like here, I believe I'll be able to actually... But then I may not see the ethereal, I don't know. I don't fucking know! Might go there all the way! And then retreat here if poss if if it's fucky. And let's pay close attention to where that ethereal is. If the overwaters hit me, this mission is aborted. <laughs> How's that for paying close attention to where the ethereal is? It's too far back, is where he is. I thought he was here, but he must have been there. There's no vision I can gain on him. But there might be little he can do against me as well. His heavy muton is flanked here. That's a nice gift. Hopefully I can pick it up. Yeah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, guys. Oh god, I'm doing it. And I'm, I missed. I need that snipe on the right side against the ethereal next turn. Nesroth can't do shit. Zang. Can do one shot here. 15, that's a good shit. That's a good shot. If I can follow up with this one here. Oh god, is that flanking me? Maybe. Oh! Two seventies missed! And I don't got any more. There's no one else. This is too far away. Click. The rocket has to be stable against the ethereal next turn. This is what are my options anyway? Inside the train, they're kind of sketchy, but shit, good enough. It's good enough. It'll it'll nail the ethereal because it's 100. percent But if I don't do that muton right now, he could do something scary. There's a civilian here that could actually save my life, so I'd rather not kill him either. I think I'll have to stable that rocket. May want to go here with Nesseroth, but that's flankable. Seven, it's totally flankable. Can't go that far. Okay. Even if it means I can't see anyone. God damn it. Maybe the mutant will run into my Overwatch here. Can't think of anything better than Overwatch here as well. And then Gizmo's just gonna have to wait for Ethereal. A heavy floor comes in from the left. I, I'm not flying by him, it's fine. I did take cover from that direction as well. He just runs away, okay. That's good. I need to take this slow. Slow is the way to go. Good, good, he's not flanking me. I can appreciate that as well. The biggest question though, what does the Ethereal do and where, is he, where does he go? Kills the civilian here. Muton runs away and kills a civilian. I still see him, so I can't kill him. Still no idea about the ethereal. I'll have to go forward against the ethereal. If there's another pod, well, fuck me, but I have to kill that ethereal, don't I? Here's the deal, though. If that ethereal's too far away, I then I can't kill him anyway, so what's the point of seeing him? It would only be detrimental to see him where I can't kill him. And this is the, this is the range, so... If he's any farther than here, but I think this rocket is locking onto him right now. Who else could it be, right? So if he's right there, then I can rocket him. Probably can snipe him, but this could give me some line of sight issues, we'll see. And then I could do one shot with my mech. I'm on my way. Let's see it. 
right there. He's right there. For my 50% snipe. Yeah, Gunner is too far away, but does have the line of sight. Sniper can't see him. Sniper cannot see him. So I think I abort. The attack on that ethereal. I let him come. I hide. I just fucking hide. Flying on a mutant. Oh, there's one more here. Son of a bitch. Come on now. It's important stuff. Last shot with Zhang. If I might be safer to go with my mech instead. Wish I could go back with Zhang somehow, but I'm moving to that position. there's not even time, you know? There's not even time. Oh, look at that. That could kill him. Could straight up kill him. I have no I can't engage. Break line of sight here. Click. Let him do what he does, I guess. For now. Not waste my... Uh, my double tap. Click. Without having to. And I'm scared of a rift hitting here, so I'm gonna move my medic away. At least. And that's it. Here we go. Heavy float sneaking up on the on the left side, sneaking away. But the ethereal's the real killer over here. What does he do? Please tell me he double moves. Please tell me this is a, just a double move. That's M Chief. Mind fray. Oh, okay. Okay, I can kill him here. I think I can kill him here. I'm pretty sure I can kill him here. Nesseroth. What? I need to blow this, this, these two. If Nesseroth is to see him. Can I collateral this doorway to death? God, I wish I knew. I wish I knew that if, if this was destructible or not. I think it is. I'm pretty sure that it is. But what I also could do... If I find a good position for it, is I could combo mine and fire rocket against him. But the way he's standing here, this doorway is just gonna protect him from everyone on my right side. Everyone. Sniper, not gonna happen. Brilliant positioning by that ethereal. How is my rocket looking actually? I didn't even check. It's good enough for a mine combo. So once I do that mine combo, I then move M Chief away, and then I'm gonna have a shot here with Yaku, but not with Zhang. Zhang has to reload. Yaku's not gonna hit a Ethereal, it's gonna be like a 30%. Womos cannot shoot him as well. So I guess I've got. I could have mech shots as well, depending on what I position. I think this could be a mech shot right here. It's pretty much the same tile. And I don't think a single collateral can break that. I also don't think I can find an angle for the mine. Where would I go? These these are closed doors over here. I'm not sure if I can find a place for a mine, to be honest. And if I fuck up that mine, I have nothing with my mech. At all. But I think if I had to try that mine, I would try it like from here. Angle through the door and the window. It may not be cen centrally on him, but... But it's not gonna go through the doors, that's the problem, right? I mean, let me just check. Maybe it will go through the doors, but... But no, it doesn't. There's nothing ending up on the other side, no matter what. So I either just go balls deep over here, but there could be another pod. I This is my third pod, you know? It, it sounds crazy with how much fighting there's been going on, but this is my third pod. So I think I gotta try this angle if I want the mine. I think it's still better than like a 
50% railgun shot. This is at least a guarantee, you know. Let's see if I can follow up with a flame as well. Could be a flame. Yeah. So I can shred and flame him. And Shredder will also blow that mine. Sorry, civilian. What? It didn't! I missed! I mean, it was dead on with the Shredder, but... Maybe the mine had cover relative to the Shredder or something. What is that mine? So I think I can flame from here. Safe from the mine, and yet definitely a good flame. It's just that it could uncover. It doesn't uncover. Unless he's immune to flame, and I just don't know. Oh my god, civilian, I am so sorry, buddy. It's happening, though. You are deep in this shit. Alright, I don't have an ethereal body, but I do have a dead ethereal. And that, I guess, is good enough for me. Fucking hell, this mission. Tuesday. Who thought this was a good idea? Reloading. Who the fuck thought it was a good idea? We have two ethereals right here. God damn it! One must get your vision on the left side. Nesseroth. Get to that front line and to support your troops, damn it! Click. Those troops ain't gonna support themselves! There's a heavy floater there, there's probably more pods as well. Yeah, that was a value civilian Arcanator. Now, I believe Canada's still out. Aren't they? I mean, there's one civilian saved. Click. And then, uh, I think that's a floater boss. That was a lot of HP. And there's no civilians, they will just come right at me. So I want to take a long-range engagement and then back off with my mech after shooting with my I'm on the move. gunner. Zhang really could use some better cover over here. I'm gonna be honest. Bunker down now. Click. Moving to designated coordinates. Um. Click. Position confirmed. Fire on my position. I might just be really lucky on Canada. There is still chance, and that's what I was fighting for, for a chance, I guess, and it has to be good enough now. Heading to that location. Still got two fire rockets. 100% each. Not a civil... No Wait, there's still mutons? Oh, you gotta be shitting, there's more pods. There's actually more pods. I'm not even going close to this shit. I'm just turtling right here. You can take those two civilians, alright? There is nothing I can do for those two. But there is something I can do for my team, and that is just turtle here. A lot of good cover blown, so... If I stay here... Do I have range on my full line of sight? I don't. I need to move forward. Click. Ten four. Overwatch. Still another pod. After those two ethereals. You would think they won't have resources for this. I guess they deployed this mission. Wait, so here's the deal. They deployed this mission before I attacked their base. 
So if the alien rolls got made before my base attack, then I suppose they had money for this. This one has heat ammo, by the way. He's gonna kill me. Uh, but... Oh, Nessor's dead, actually. Oh, God, I'm gonna lose my commander? Oh, he ran away! This was a double move. Don't kill Nesseroth! Oh my god, Nesseroth! His cover got completely destroyed by the mech. I should have seen it coming and put him in the back. For fuck's sake, that was not cool. Why don't you fry him? Ha! <laughs> Almost lose Nesseroth. Yeah, lots of misses, but they are floaters, to be honest. They are floaters. They do have plenty of evasion capabilities. Free shot. I'm gonna take another one. Oh. Or I can do this again. I'm probably going to save my sniper for. The heavy. Same here. Can shoot once with Zhang and still have an opportunist, just no ammo next turn. But I need to be ready for that heavy float. Mind fight does not cancel Overwatch, it just makes it more likely to miss. Come on, heavy. You decided not to kill Nesteroth last turn? Let's see if you'll do run in and out again. Until you just die. Yeah, this this time I'm not missing, buddy. I missed you six times last time. I'm done missing. Deal with it. Deal with it, son. I think it's a good idea to move forward with my max. Catch him while he's vulnerable. But moving to position. Eyes on target. Hi mutons. Zerkers actually. Alright, change of plans I guess. I'm not sure if I won't just flame it. Probably am gonna flame it. Mind flame? Mind flame? What can I say? I have a free shot before I mind flame. Don't wanna shoot any of the berserkers though, because I could move them out of position. So I gotta pop one of those floats. <laughs> And then Titan can mine. And then I could just fire rocket instead of flaming. And then just maybe flame them later, we'll see. But a fire rocket certainly does seem pretty legit over here. Could also expose a float out of his cover. Yep. Yeah, that's a good idea. What's the point of winning this? I mean, kind of this is gonna leave anyway. Man, this is messed up. They're totally freaking out, by the way. Flame seems very legit, but... But then can I snipe that heavy? I need to... Okay, yeah, so this is the move. Kill this one, flame the Zerks. And then just gun down any survivors. And that the mission, maybe I'll even save two civilians, who knows? That's like twice as much as I expected, right? Let's first tap this guy. Because I seem to have to aim against those Zerkers. Oh, good enough aim. Click. And then I believe that might be it. Actually, no, there's one more float. What I was thinking. Oh. Wait, what? No pulse? Oh, yeah, that's Zang. I, I I thought this was my M Chief, actually. No, that's fine. M Chief. Because it actually guaranteed against this guy. And it's a free kill. So Zang can just try to mind fight this guy instead. Unless I get shot from Overwatch that I didn't see coming, and... 
<laughs> and panic. This is a guarantee, isn't it? Click. One throw to left. Let's hope that one civilian doesn't die from heart attack all, all of a sudden. Oh shit, no, there's one heavy. There's two heavies! I completely lost track. Completely lost track, alright. Okay, there is more. And I've got no more flames. Could take a free kill over there, but these are the real enemy. Titan, what can you do? There's one more! There's just there's always more. There's just always another floater. I think I just mined the shit out of him. Even though I don't think my rocket can nail them, we will see though. We'll see. It could. And I'm not gonna need it for anything else. And next turn's probably too late. So I might as well go for it now. Makes sense. And then I can precision the most important target over here. Play with the others the way I want. Well, Nesroth doesn't want. Convera does. Kill confirmed. Romeo. Reloaded. Click. I'm on it, Commander. Space still. Oh, he's not afraid. Oh no, my tray is on cooldown. Never mind. Click. Moving. X. Romeo. Reloading. Do I make the same move? I could. I could just run and gun him. To save one more civilian, you know. But if there's more, well, you know the story. You know how it goes. I've been wrong before about how many there are. Space 2. Sorry, civilian. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. But if there was more, you know, it's. <laughs> this is a big map, you know. It's not a small map. What if there is another pod? See, see how much terrain there still is. Could totally have another pod. There shouldn't be more, but then there... There shouldn't have been... Last time I lost my assault doing the same kind of move. Click. Getting it done. I can deploy cover for him with my mech, right? Yes. So it's okay to do that. Click. Leave a room for Zhang. He's gonna have an 84 to hit. Click. Again, I can deploy cover here. But I guess I could run and gun instead. It's gonna be a better chance. Space 2. Um. Canada's full, full red, isn't it? There was nothing I could have done. There's nothing I could have done better. Escape. Thank God I played as good as I did here, because holy shit, I played good. I played really good here. I'm pretty proud of how I played this mission. I'm gonna be honest. Um. Gizmo gets his master. I've been using him a lot these days. Right. One additional standard rocket. That it? Really? That's the best thing you got? That's pretty fucked up. I think at this point I just make an archer out of him. Space 2. Except this is my only javelin, so I can't. Escape. How much has Alien put into making Canada red this month? A lot. A lot. But they're gonna get their investment back, because they it worked. I'm gonna have to attack Canada next next council. There's gonna be a lost satellite. Nesseroth. Resilience for my commander to survive longer. Sentinel. Mayhem. Mayhem danger zone. Escape. It's gonna be a nice suppress. 
Um. Good night, Caridius. Thanks for coming. Thanks for being awesome. Yeah, let's do vital point targeting medic, because that's just all I needed. Damage medic right now. My eyes are dry. This was crazy. This was just as crazy as the base attack, at least. It was as crazy as the base attack, except more condensed into, into a shorter mission, which made it even more crazy. God. December is just the month of madness. Right. Space Tomb. But that's a sprinter. Escape. Home. I can't believe I pulled this off. Remember, we will be watching. Home. And Canada is completely fucked. They're gone. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can say. Come on. Escape. Of course, Sprinter's the only choice there. Space. It's a great skill. Our satellite is prepped and stable. Yeah, lots of memorable missions. We are ready to Shit. Deploy it every day board. of December. Every day I was streaming December was a lot of memorable missions, to be honest. It's such an epic month. This month is ma- Oh really, Ergo? I have no idea, I haven't even heard, that's cr oh wow. They may change- I would- I would suspect they change, Ergo. Oh yeah, I heard- I- 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 okay, okay, let me just remember, let me just remember. I think the more aliens you uncover, the less civilians will get random heart attacks. So triggering the aliens too fast is no longer going to be so severely punishing. I'm not sure how exactly they're gonna balance that, but I think that's the idea. If aliens are triggered, if more aliens are triggered, more pods are active, less civilians die of heart attacks. That's, that's I think, the idea. Escape. Yeah, if there's more, no more missions, that's what I'm going for right now. Flight from Egypt for engineers. I don't need engineers, buddy. Oh, there's a mission right there. Gotta shoot him down. No missing around. Am I gonna have only a single contact with him, though? I ran out of tracks, actually. Holy shit! If I'm gonna have only a single, single contact with him, he may just run away. Nope. Two hundred bucks. Thank you very much. Very helpful. Very helpful. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. What do I want? I should think about that and do it now. If there's something specific I want. Do I want the Sparrow? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, guys, could you check on the Wikipedia or link me, link me the Wikipedia of what do the Shiv defenses do? Is there anything I want for my Shiv that's going to be coming in next month? Because in 18 days, I'm going to have the Dalai Shiv. So when I'm going to be attacking Canada, I'm actually going to have an Dalai Shiv with me on that base attack. I got 100 engineers, as you can see, so why would I need more? No reason. But please tell me, what does it do? Does it do something good? No buildings, risk Rhino. The only buildings I could actually build right now would be a Nexus, satellite Nexus. I guess since I'm doing so good in the air, maybe I'm just gonna take Africa then. Huh. But no, I, in that, at that point, I might as well instead save my money for Titan armor. Because I'd have to buy airplanes and stuff. That'd be crazy. A lot of spending. Wouldn't pay off, even though Africa would give me a nice bonus. I think it wouldn't pay off until a couple months later, and I'm gonna delay my Titan with that. For no reason, because Africa's not leaving the council. They're fine, they're stable. 
Yeah, but that's late game. I mean, end game, I'm gonna get the other 10 just from the council rewards. Every, every month, every council. Uh, what items? It's, it's actually good. It's maybe DR for shit. Yeah, let's get it then. If it's damage resistance, yeah, I gotta get it. And this close combat would boost my punching power to the point where I no longer need to rely on those point-blank crits from a railgun because the punch is just gonna deal that much more damage. I feel like I need it. I feel like it could save me in a couple of circumstances. Also need the tracking. But that's air, and I said that I'm fine with air, but I, because I am. So, let's invest in the ground. We're certainly keeping the boys down in the foundry busy. Oh. Damage control? That's great, actually, yeah. Shit. Viva Dachi, third time's the charm. Come. Come. Oh, wow, empty. Ooh. Ooh, someone's going in. Now, can anyone actually have a tier 2 leveled up already? No one. That is slow. Okay, Annette can get tier 3. But is there something in the middle? No, it, it says locked here, but I cannot mouse over this, so that's not locked. Yeah, it doesn't say locked here. Region Biofield. All nearby allies are healed for one health each turn. This does not repair damage to body armor or other HP granting items. Imposes plus 12 hours of fatigue. Distortion field. Nearby allies in cover receive 10 defense. Only in cover, though. Still. Seems superior to me. There's no middle one here. Good. And I think Psy Panic is the middle one for the second row. Why don't I, why don't I have the middle in the second row? Maybe I need to interrogate the sectoid commander for that. Home. Who else can go in? Maybe someone who's fatigued, who knows. I'll leave one spot for later, but for now... Oh, Arcanator, that's very important, he's an engineer. Very important. Get in. Home. Gatling Pulsar, thank you very much. Super Capacitors, thank you even more! You can have him. It's fine, just get off my back, Mexico. Make close combat, thank you even more. Two days and I'm done with the council. And this year of XCOM is concluded. Argentina don't need. They're fine. Yeah, the UFO just got destroyed. 200 bounty. Canada's fucking gone! The continued loss of council member support threatened. I take one, they just take the other, and now they're gonna do terror in Germany. It's so hard to lower panic. It's so hard to lower panic. It's not even about conquering the bases back, it's about lowering the panic enough. Just can't do it. I'm gonna go Russia. Russia, I think, will have more uh, panic resistance than, than Canada. I'm not sure at this point. I don't remember when did Russia leave exactly. I think they left pretty late, so they should have more panic resistance. What do you mean, Ergo Sloth? Did you... follow me again? No, it should be recognized then. What did you not get recognized for? Space. We will be in touch, Commander. No returns in... Um, what do you mean returns? Maybe that's some kind of programmer slang. Escape. So I really didn't get that much money. Right, too. Home. Let's see what kind of shift defenses I will build. 
The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. Oh. We're always glad to have more help down here. Damage control pod, very good, take it. Core armoring. Extra HP and immunity to critical hits. Ooh. Yeah, good stuff, no kidding. If I had that before. Okay, and I've got plenty of Illyrium and alloys, I'm good on that. Meld, I'm gonna have the gene labs done in... Eight days. We'll see then how good I am on my... Um. On my meld. But I'm not gonna build a third mech, I'm instead going to upgrade to mech tier 3. After this autopsy, I think I'm researching power armor. What did I get? Mind shield? That's such shit. Could interrogate that heavy float in five days. Interrogate sector command in ten days. <sighs> no, I think I want to start building Max tier three and Titan armors. It's pretty important at this point. Support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Um. Yeah. I also need to build the skeleton key. But I think I'm taking Russia instead of Canada. Canada's too hard to hold. They have such a low damage, such a low panic resistance. I'm not I don't remember Russia. I may need to dig Okay, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dig into my uh into my vods. See how much panic resistance Russia had before they fell and then decide which country I'm taking back this month. But I have to take one back, they have too many bases. Let's get that skeleton key ready ahead of time, because it's gonna take a while to build. EMP? Do I actually have EMP available for manufacture right now? No way. I would notice, right? Nah, it probably requires something. Escape. 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 Does the Chrysalid Queen do more damage? Ah, it does more damage. Let's let's be honest, it does more damage. I'm I haven't seen it deal more damage, but. I'm pretty fucking sure it deals more damage. It's not just gonna pop you for seven, being so big and scary. That'd be idiotic, that'd be funny in its stupidity. It's definitely gonna hit like 20. At least. You better have your chitin plating on a very high HP character. Escape. Vast repair complete. So basically I'm gonna repair my shiv. Let's see those super capacitors. Repair my shiv, get that skeleton key, send the satellite, and we'll see what we can do. I need to build the tracking boost. I forgot. Oh god, those are shooting so fast. Oh my god, those are shooting fast. Oh, nothing needed in the air. The air's taken care of. But the tracking could be, could be important, and it's so cheap anyway. Would be silly not to do it, really. Another Aegis armor. That's gonna make me. Oh, nice. Yeah, taking that. I've got eight of those mutant captives. Finally, a good request. It's been a while. Science? Oh, shit. I didn't research. I didn't click on anything? No, I did. I did. What are you. Why are you laying science? Oh, it's probably something else. Sometimes I forget researching. Walks poet. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. That's the best kind of poet. And then Durand. Very good psionic right now. Let's see who else can do it. Home. I'm thinking of Barrington again here. 
I can keep Barrington in the tube until she is needed for the... for a uh, terror mission or a uh, base assault. And let's see if any of the Furies can maybe... Okay, so these... That one's mobility and... and aim, so... What would I do with them? Snapshot Rocketeer? That doesn't make sense in the late game. At all. Makes no sense at all. What would I do with them? A rapid fire assault. A rapid fire mid range available viable assault. This one. I need assault. I I lost too many assaults. I think I need an assault. And then this one. I'm not sure. Maybe just be a reserve. If I need anyone, I'll just make it out of this guy. Oh, and Zossler, another engineer. I need those engineers to have this. Because then they can carry the ghost grenades like they're supposed to, finally. It's very important. Ha <laughs> ha! Japan! You guys! You guys! You guys! Oh, Japan! That's cute! That's cute! <laughs> that's a real laugh, by the way. <laughs> oh god, Japan. Oh. Arakanator does it! Love it. Oh, those Japanese guys, <laughs> who thought it was a good idea? M-Chief I will keep here, without psionics, because he may become a mech. Fluffy gets level 2. Ooh. Is this actually... Oh no, he gets Psypanic. Ooh. Only Annette gets the other thing, I guess. I don't know, I, I didn't see Psypanic here before. But it's amazing. Hey, kid. Hey, kid, Fluffy. Ooh. I can, Pixie. I can. Looking good. NOE fighter, that's a bombing run, and it's not gonna happen on my watch. Now, those European interceptors could really use some experience, so hopefully that's what it'll be. Oh, they wanted 10 Muton Elites for two engineers. Jesus Christ! I had my hand off the button, looking at the chat, not noticing they just got double fire over here. Bangs out. They can shoot twice, just like me. Ha! Oh, okay. That was close. That was close enough. What are my repair times now with the repair perk? Still completely messed up. Actually, it's now 17. It could have been 20-something, actually, without it. Alright, so I need to take one of my more experienced guys, put it in Europe. Just to be safe. Home. 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 That was close. That's not gonna happen. Commander. Have you abduction? Several reported abductions via the hologlobe. I've got the coordinates Space. locked in. West 5. <laughs> they wanted 10 elite mutons. So I've got only 11 elite mutons. After all my trying and after all my struggles, 11 is all I got. Space. Damn, these guys are hard to get for that tactical rigging. Escape. Space. My commanders are really lacking in numbers. Let's see if I can promote Donna. Any majors available? Just, just checking. Yep. Today, Sabnock, almost ready after that base defense, base attack disaster. Home. 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 Yeah, I have 12 elites. I need 20. I'm missing 8 elites then. West 5. Space. Do I lead this with Nessar or the Dark Lord or do I... Do I go cheapskate? It's a waterfront. Waterfront maps are usually more awkward than, than most. Taking Nessaroth. 
right space. It's kind of mysterious, Argo, isn't it? In that way, how does it work? How do they know? Down three. But no more Master Sergeant, I need to level up. Down nine. North three. Down two. Space. Right space. Down nine. I need those ga those guys. I need to get those guys to masters. That Shogun and I guess Goliath, so that I have one tanky. Right space. But these guys need to get to masters. Down nine. Down nine. So they get their absorption shields. Only then they are truly reliable. And then I need to also level I him up as fast as possible to the double tap and master. Right space. Down nine. Down five. 